What is going on, guys? It is the Phantom Michael, and I'm bringing you the next episode of our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke Challenge. If you guys have not seen the last episodes, be sure to go back and check it out. We did a lot of off-screen grinding. We got right up to par. Um, we went up for the uh, level 60 was the original plan for everybody, but we went a little lower than that. Oh, well, not a big deal. But let's do a quick team recap. Up first, we have our starter agent, the Inteleon. Rocking out moves, Sucker Punch, Hydro Cannon, U-Turn, and Snipe Shot. We have Ore Beetle, the MVP of the playthrough, easily. Rocking out the moves, Struggle Bug, Psychic Terrain, Light Screen, and Psychic. Then we have one of the newer members, Groptolock, with Brick Break, Drain Punch, Octolock, and Super Power. We have Frosty, the Obama Snow, with Ice Punch, Blizzard, Wood Hammer, and Sheer Cold. We have King Tut, the Root. What is this thing even? What is this thing called? Reunigris. Okay. Reunigris. Okay, cool. Uh, with the moves uh, Crafty Shield, Shadow Claw, Brutal Swing, and Earthquake. Toctricity, Rocking on the Moves, Nuzzle, Overdrive, Boom Burst, and Poison Jab. So that is the squad we're dealing with right now. Um, I think I'm going to double check really quick just to make sure that Octolock can't learn something else. I've been doing some raids. To uh, help increase some of our some of our situation, um, I want to just to see if I can teach Grapple Lock anything. He learned Dig. Well, I don't want to teach him Revenge. Uh, can he learn something? He knows Brick Break. I want him to learn something that's not Fighting type. Um, I think we're gonna make a punch. Uh, he knows Dragon Punch, which is great. These are all my Cross Chop, Crunch, Dark Pulse, Foul Play. Can we learn something? Earthquake, Frosty can learn Earthquake. Interesting. D-Dance, Tail Slap, Brave Bird, Air Slash, Hurricane, Shadow Claw, Psycho Cut, Electro Web, Psy Shock, Psychic, Agility, anything. Heat Crash, Fire Blast, Sludge Wave. Ooh, yeah, because I do have a modest toxicity. So I think I'll do that. I think I'll get rid of the poison jab for the uh, far more superior sludge wave. Ooh, I think. Now, does that get rid of sludge wave? Is that how this works? Yep, it sure does. Okay. So that's kind of what they did there. I never. That was the first time I actually taught a uh, he can learn waterfall. Yo, he can learn waterfall. We're gonna do it. We're gonna teach Grapple Lock waterfall. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the user lock to target and it prevents it from fleeing. That's fine. I'll get rid of Octo Lock. Cool. Got waterfall. That's fine. I'm good with it though. I'm so good with it. Um now I wanted to teach Frosty something a little bit better. Uh I'm just gonna do this real quick. Magical leaf on Frosty, because I forgot Frosty's Okay, 122. He is more of a special attacker anyway. Mmm. I could get rid of Sheer Cold. I'm gonna get rid of Sheer Cold. Okay, I think Frosty's okay. Okay, and we taught we taught Grab the Lock a water move. Can we learn one more? Maybe one more. Maybe dig. Get him a ground type. Is there any other? Hmm. How can I sort these? No, nope, I don't want to do that. Um. Is there a way to go through? Okay, so it's sort. There we go. Uh, by number. Let's do it all by number. Um. Uh, there we go. Let's find us a move. Earthquake. Nope. Can't learn Earthquake. That's too bad. That would be nice. Uh, sleep Talk Crunch Shadow Ball. Okay, so these are all the TRs. I have a lot of them, dude. Holy crap. Um. A lot of them. Nope. Can't learn Rock Slide. He cannot learn Rock Slide. Which is unfortunate. I'm wasting this whole episode on trying to get these guys some good moves, which I totally could have done off screen. But I didn't because I'm a scrub. 
And I'll admit it. Um, can I bulldoze? He cannot. Which is unfortunate. Again, he learned Brutal Swim. He can, which is a dark type move. Might be worth it right there. Brutal Swing. Cool. Give him a nice dark type move. Does 60 damage. What are we going to get rid of? Drain Punch. Ah, oh, you know what? I get rid of Brick Break. Why not? There we go. Got rid of Brick Break for Brutal Swing. Cool. There we go. Alright, let's do it, fellas. Who we go to talk to? We go this way? We do. Oh boy. Oh boy, is there anyone else in here? Nope, straight ahead we go, I guess. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous. Whew. Whew. Oh. Oh, it's just straight up. No, no BS, just straight battle. Huh. I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know there's been a lot between us. What with my big brother Team Yell helping Spike Mouth and all that. But the truth is, when all said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. I don't think you realized who you messing with, girl. I don't think you realized who you messed with. I hope they're not. All right, Marnie. What level are you? We're above now, bro. We ain't got him, actually. All right, Marnie. Oh, holy crap, dude. Maybe it's just her? I hope I don't sweep. I thought everyone was like level 50. Huh. Maybe your ace is level 50? Huh. No, Ted. I don't want to learn guard split either, man. Alright. I what? Oh, who am I switching to? Let's go grab the lock, man. I feel like all her Pokemon are gonna be the uh, dark type. Scrafty. It might be a dry skin and Scrafty. Might be a dry skin. Dry skin Scrafty. Hang on with this grand punch. Oh my goodness, Octolock. You don't play no dang games, bro. You don't play no dang games, bro. Dude, I might not even need to. Toxtricity is what that said. I'm going to team, team Tut. Why not? King Tut it is, boys. There we go. Oh, it said Toxicroak. I thought it said Toxtricity. Oh. I just messed up there. Real quick. Ooh, sucker punch is gonna hurt. Okay. 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 Get it. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Nice. More Pico. Now nah, more Pico is electric type dude. Totally saying it. Is more Pico? I think more Pico. What Pokemon does she have left? She has two more Pokemon. What are the chances this is her Dynamax? Not. Nah. Her next Pokemon might be the Dynamax? What do I think? I don't know. Yeah, I'm totally sleeping, bro. What's next? What's next? Grim Snarl. Totally, totally. The it is fairy. It is dark type. We're swapping to toxicity. 
That is totally her Dynamaxer. Let's go. Show me what you got. Brimsnarl. Okay. Let's see what we can do, yo. Hopefully I didn't miss like a rule you can only do one Dynamax for the whole champion. Alright. There he goes. Cool. He's doing it to Gigantamax. Ooh, we're trying to Gigantamax. What does Gigantamax look like? Whoa, dude. Actually, it's cooler, way cooler Gigantamax. He ain't gonna like this, though. He dang sure ain't gonna like this, though. Get him. Get him. Oh, he survived. Get a poison him. Get a poison him. We're gonna get psychic. G Max Snooze. Okay. Okay. I can't put him to sleep, I don't think. Oh, I am drowsy. Black Sludge, man. There it goes. Oh, a full restore, Marnie. I see you. Maybe it was a low roll. Maybe it was a low roll. Let's see. Was it a low roll? It was a low roll. Got him. Get a phone out of here. That's a cool one. Gigantamax right there. Not gonna lie, he looks so cool. Yeah. Alright, Marty. It's over. It's over. Get my G8. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during that, all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands, and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. All right, Marnie. Phantom! I'll be, wait I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. I wonder who he's facing. Maybe Beatty? No, Beatty became the fairy type gym leader, didn't, didn't he? Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back in the pitch. Okay, cool. Is there any way to heal prior to the match? Oh, you're allowed to leave, bro? No way. You can leave? Can you... You can leave and go heal? What? Dude. Totally taking advantage. Totally taking advantage of that. Totally taking advantage of that. Oh, wait, let me check. I didn't even check. Did they fully heal you after the battle? They do. What? They do. That's cool. Yeah, because I know King Tut took some damage. They do. What? That's crazy, bro. What an awesome. Let me double check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. Everybody gets full healed afterwards. That's awesome. That's so freaking cool. Alright, who do I want to lead with? Who am I taking on? Who do you think I'm taking on? Uh, I don't have anyone to really set up. I'm gonna go War Beetle. Why not? Why not? Let's get it. Who am I taking on? Oh, it's hot, dude. Just straight up hot. Hmm. 
I just had this sort of flashback, you know, remember back when we were still in Postwick, when we got our Pokemon from Lee that day? I never would have dreamed that I end up standing here facing you. But it's time. I finished what was started that day. Got it? The one who'll become champion is me. Let's see what happens, bro. That's right. Double. Alright. Is there a normal side Yeah. We ain't got a maxing. We ain't got a maxing. We're still like 10 levels above everybody. Holy crap. At least now I know. Hmm. Bada slam. How much that can do? Not that much. Take me out. Bada thing, bada boom, toast. That's what I'm talking about. Frosty. Corvonite. Uh, I think I gotta take out Corvonite. Who do I got? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't really have anything for a on this team. A nerve. Can't eat my berries. Okay. Well, let's go psychic, man. Mmm. Mmm. It's fine. Mmm. Mmm. What to do? Hard switch? Hard switch into... Flying Steel type. Toxtricity, I guess, bro. Hard switch into Toxtricity. That's what I gotta do. Eh. Dang. Let's see if I'm faster. Overdrive. Totally. I think he's toast. I think I'm gonna talk Tristity Sweep. Once again. Got him! Got him. Snorlax. Feel comfortable grapple lockout. Okay. Train phone. Out of man. I don't think any of these guys can survive even one hit, dude. It's gonna be interesting. The uh, champion's gonna be really interesting. Interesting. Is that the little electric tug? It is, dude. Is that shiny? That thing looks off. That thing looks weird. It's a drain punch, whatever. No big deal. Pretty good damage. Don't care. One more. Ooh, nice and heals. Nice and heals. Okay. Train punch it is. Yeet. How should I get back? Yeah. Finish him off, man. Pokemon. Cinder Race must be the last Pokemon. 
Let's get it. Let's get it. Cinder race. Yep, the champion's gonna be on par with me. For sure. Uh, that's what we're doing. Because I know you're Dynamax and two. I wonder if these guys have their own Gigantamax forms. Got to, right? This the power. Time for Dynamax. Huh. Okay, yep, it's just a Dynamax. Just a Dynamax, not a Gigantamax like I expected. That'd been cool though. Let's check it out. Yep. Whoa, dude, that was sweet. Maybe it's Gigantamax. Shot through the hunter. Yeah, Adam. And it rained. Sit. Sit, man. It's over. Over hop. The bringer of rain. Phantom, thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. <laughs> Alright, where's your brother? And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hope many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger Phantom. I messed up because I did. You know, even with Sonya was saying that you and me look like we could become heroes. I really never felt like one. But you, mate, I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Phantom. And Orbeetle, and all the rest of your team. <laughs> it just talks about the very first Pokemon on your team. Orbeetle is awesome. Yeah, he is, actually. Yeah. Dude, I did not realize I had his a hoodie on that has his face on it. That's interesting. Phantom! That was incredibly brilliant! Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town and built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion, it was battling at its very purest in every possible way, even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Phantom. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, Phantom. The real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we go get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but you never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. Cool. What are we eating, man? What are we eating? Challenger Phantom. Hey, Challenger Phantom. Got some time for questions? First question. You and the Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense. Wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? I'm glad I could beat him. Right. Question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? I'd thank him for the greatest match. I tell him how strong he was, that he was just the rival I knew he was. Thank him for a great match. Love with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? 
All right, that's enough. Phantom's already tired from battle, and you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. I think I've beat them several times. Phew, famous people sure have it rough, huh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Several, whoa. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep to his own dinner plans. Kid's sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? Oh, pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need you to see... I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you having to... Ca having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearance, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him headed to Rose Tower. How would he go there? Dunno what he's up to, but I ran into him at the Monroe platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late for your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he have done? To... What could have to do there at this hour? What could he have to do there at this hour? Huh! Dude, I, I don't know. This dialogue just throws me off so much. Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Phantom nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. Though I suppose it's a real problem for me, too, if the finals are held up for any reason, and I don't really hate the two of you little runts, you were good enough to beat me after all. So I think I'll invite Timmy along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant, you're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. If he just, like, walks, like, sways. Pretty interesting how he moves. Rose Tower, that is back. Pretty far away, isn't it? Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from the, that battle with you, Phantom. We decided that Team Yo would cheer you on, Phantom. Let's help out together. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Miss Olina. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the Montreal to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. Oh, the tower's here. I have, I have hand-selected a member of the league staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy those kind of mineral games after all. You think you can tell the difference between normal league staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? I seen a shirt. What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Phantom, Team Yell's yelling, we'll handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. Alright, so we gotta hunt this dude down. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? All right, let's all work together and head for the Rose Tower. Hmm. Let's find Olina's league staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? All right. We're going to save it right here, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash the like button. Your support is always greatly appreciated over that. I'm the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.